I select small objects millimeters. Now before we go ahead we need to understand that this is our default interface for rhinos. Now we have the top, we have the front, we have the right and we have the perspective windows. They are called our viewports. So this is the top viewport, this is the front viewport, we have the right viewport and we have the perspective viewport. Let's say for example if I, if I want to draw something, I simply select the box from the toolbar depending on which viewport is basically highlighted that means I am drawing in that specific viewport let's say if I want to go I want to draw in the front so the front viewport needs to be active by clicking on it that specific viewport is active I want to draw on the top so I select the top I want to draw from the center so C enter the center of the base is 0 so 0 enter I select the base I give the height not that we are moving objects but we want to see that what is basically there on the left and right hand side of our C plane so you could simply zoom out using the mouse or you could zoom in now this depends on your mouse so for example if your mouse is on this particular corner the zoom happens on that specific corner if you zoom out it zooms out let's say I want to zoom to this specific corner I take my mouse to that particular corner where I want to zoom let's say this particular corner and I simply zoom using the mouse so depending on wherever your mouse is, it will zoom to that specific point. You want to zoom out, you simply zoom out over. Let's say I move my mouse to the center and I zoom in and I zoom out. Now the same way you have the set pan, so the pan view. You simply click on the pan and you can simply move the pan left and right. This can also be done. The shortcut is using the right click of your mouse. Simply click and you can move left and right. So if you want to see if you have multiple objects on your C plane, so where those objects are stored. But now if you go to the perspective view and using the right click if you drag you can rotate the C plane depending on how do you want to see it. In this video you will learn about the viewport layout. We need to create an object first on the screen. So let's say we create a box the top view is active box I want to start from the center C enter the center of the base is 0 enter I create the base I drag vertically up I create the box under the perspective view I would like to see it as shaded so I select shaded with the right click I can simply rotate my perspective view to see it from the different angles which I want to now I click on the arrow next to the perspective I go into viewport layout when I click on new viewport a new viewport is created and again this viewport appears above all the other viewports and I can simply change this viewport to any specific view which I would like to see it as so for example let's say I would like a perspective view over here I could change it or if for example let's say I go to set view I could get it back to the front view so in the front view once I am done I can come back over here I can go into viewport layout for viewport so the new viewport will get hidden the next option what we will see over here is viewport layout we have float viewport when you say float the, sp the specific viewport which is selected will become like a float so I could simply move it we generally use this when you have multiple monitors and you want to move this particular view to a different monitor now since we do not have multiple monitors attached over here but that's one of the applications so I can again come back over here I can again go back to the viewport layout I can simply say dock viewport the same way I can select this specific viewport which is the top viewport I select the drop down I go to viewport layout and I can again say float viewport so in that case the top viewport is basically is floated I can basically move it wherever I want once I'm done I simply click back over here I go to viewport layout and I say dock viewport I can go back to the perspective viewport viewport layout I have split horizontal and split vertical if I say split vertical it will split that specific viewport in two specific viewports now let's say I want perspective view in this way and I want it this way also so I have perspective I have two perspective views and both basically belong to that specific viewport that is perspective the same way I go into the right I go to the right viewport I click the drop down below I go to viewport layout and I again say over here split vertical since I have the right I would like to see the left view over here so I simply click I go to set view I go to left so over here I can see the right viewport I can see the left viewport so once again I can come up over here I can go back to viewport layout 
now i can say once i am done and i only want i want to go back to my original four viewports i can simply come up over here and select on four viewports i'm back to the specific screen